Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Flat Earth School. The school is all around us 24 seven since the beginning of existence. I'm Mitchell from Australia and I'm back here live at Science Space in Wollongong. The home of the Earth rotation debunking focal pendulum. To recap from my first visit, we confirmed that the globe claims that we are standing on the rotating Earth. Therefore, we see the pendulum change direction to a tune of eight and a half degrees per hour anti-clockwise. So over four hours, the globe predicted that the Foucault pendulum would deviate 34 degrees. The observation of the Foucault pendulum started at 9.11 a.m. By 10.11 a.m., we observed that the pendulum had still not deviated at all. The globe predicted that it would have deviated in that first hour eight and a half degrees anti-clockwise. 11.33 a.m., after two hours, the globe predicted that the pendulum should have deviated 17 degrees. After three hours, at 12.10 p.m., the globe predicted the pendulum should have deviated a total of 25.5 degrees. But still, zero deviation was observed. And finally, after four hours, at 1.16 p.m., if the Earth were actually rotating underneath this pendulum, the globe claimed that it should have deviated 34 degrees anti-clockwise, but no deviation was observed. So I then formulated a modus tollens valid logical argument. If P, then Q. Not Q, therefore not P. If the Earth we are standing on is rotating, then we will see the pendulum change direction. Over four hours, we did not see the pendulum change direction at all. We don't see the pendulum change direction, therefore Earth is not rotating. Concluding that the Foucault pendulum proves Earth is stationary. I've been requested to come back here by Mr. Sensible to take a four hour video of this earth rotation debunking Foucault pendulum. Now I've been called a liar, I've been, uh, I've, people have said that the pendulum absolutely does show the rotation of the earth, that I just edited things together, that the Foucault pendulum absolutely will work. Well, my claim is that the Foucault pendulum inside this building here does not show the rotation of the earth. Now let's go in and have a look, shall we? Now much to my surprise, I didn't even have to wait four hours to prove my claim. The museum had already proven it for me. After being absolutely inundated by people's phone calls and emails asking why their Foucault pendulum does not work, the museum had no other choice but to go into damage control and close the exhibition, fully confirming my claim that this Foucault pendulum did not demonstrate the rotation of the Earth. Enjoy the humble pie, globe believers who said I was a liar, that this Foucault pendulum absolutely would show the rotation of the earth. You've used up all your excuses trying to dance around the issue. Now it's time to address the fact that there is no observable or measurable earth rotation. But let's not forget the real star of the show, Mr. Sensible, whose donation and arrogance made this earth rotation debunking possible. At best, all you've done is debunk earth rotation. Hashtag thanks, Mr. Sensible. Wow.